everyone, this is Sunbro, and I'm doing more Long Live the Queen. Um, we died to chocolates last time. <laughs> I got to the point, uh, I got back to the point just before I would have died. Uh, so, we gotta, we gotta see what happens now. So I named it, uh, me. And, uh, let's go. Oh, and I got a new, a new outfit. <laughs> That's why she's wearing the hat. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I don't remember the voices. Uh, did I give her a voice? Shoot. Anyway, uh, <laughs> things have been so unsettled lately. Everyone's on edge. We need something cheerful. Oh, yeah, I don't remember the characters. <laughs> you should hold a tournament. What a good idea! Knights, jousting, musicians, all sorts of competitions. Everyone loves a contest. What will you offer as prizes to the winners? I don't remember what I did last time. Gold. Uh, purse of gold to the champions. I mixed up their voice. <laughs> Very well, I will draft the announcements. You leave him to his work. As you move through the hall, your eye falls upon a vase of flowers. Pretty, but apparently not getting enough water. The leaves on one side blossom. They have the blossom are shriveled. No, my divination! <laughs> uh, someone on hall duty's being lazy. These flowers should be replaced. You continue up the stairs while I'm where a maid is waiting for you. Oh, hey, Alice. Uh, my lady, a gift has arrived from Kiggle. From the Duke? No, my lady, a merchant house, I believe. It was sent with a shipment down the Kavala River. You tear open the brightly colored paper to find... Chocolates! <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know anything about trade. Uh, there's a little card on the box with our compliments. The House of Krell... Krellat. Court manners. Success! Yes! That's what I needed, I I think. Uh, that's oddly high-handed for some tiny traitor I've never heard of. Yes, I have the option. <laughs> Save it for later. I don't feel like candy right now. Maybe later. I survived. <laughs> I'm probably going to get skewered with like a rogue lance at the tournament, but whatever. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go... Um, I think I like what I have now, so I'm gonna go... To the dungeons, because it has no effect. Yeah, because I want to still be a really angry, adorable child. Because <laughs> I want to train, uh, I want to train more in weapons. Oh, I just realized I'm not capturing my mouse cursor. Uh under physical as weapons, and I have a gigantic bonus to military, so I'm gonna do swords and uh, like naval strategy or something. I'm gonna try not to dwell too much on this screen like I did in the previous one. Uh, swords and uh, what was it? Uh, naval strategy. Glasses, go back. Yeah. <clears throat> You learn about the use of ships and transporting soldiers. Uh, you study the cost, time, materials required to construct new ships. Study blockades, both setting and breaking them. You practice slow swings and move your blade to precisely marked targets, building up your muscles and control. You drill with a partner, attacking and blocking in carefully timed patterns. This is the week of the general tournament. Nobles and commoners alike have turned out to compete against each other. I just realized this is completely new. <laughs> the people will be pleased if you participate in their games. However, I would ex or it would expose you to danger. Uh, what event would you like to... Oh, crap. That's just going to get me killed all around. Uh, I don't know how to ride a horse... Um, I guess I'll do fencing. I don't know anything else. A mounted parade, I'm just going to die from the horse. Jousting, I'll die from the horse. Uh, archery, I know nothing about. Nor music, nor falconry. Um, uh, okay, I'm just going to try fencing. <laughs> 
Here, the devotees of the blade can challenge each other to duels fought only for points, not blood and honor. Sword's partial success. It is immediately obvious that your opponent's your opponent is more skilled than you than you are, but she draws out the but she draws out the match longer than necessary before driving you out of the ring. Perhaps she was afraid of hurting you. At least you aren't too embarrassed. Yay! <laughs> Partial success. <laughs> All the winners are announced and displayed to great cheers as near queen, you, uh, you place flower garlands around their necks. All of a sudden, a man approaches the winner's platform. It's Kevin, the Earl of Lowe. In one hand, he carries an armored gauntlet, the other a sword. Why are you mad at me? My family's blood is on your hands! Uh, what are you talking about? He casts the metal glove at the ground with a clatter and uh, raises his sword, pointing it at you. I challenge you, L.O.D., a life for a life. He's challenging you to a duel? Wield magic. <laughs> Doesn't he know you could burn him to a crisp just by waving your hand? Um, there's no way I could win, and I'm not going to refuse, so I'm going to kill him with magic. <laughs> Without a further word, you direct the full force of your magical wrath at the Earl of Lowe. <laughs> uh, what was he mad at me about? I don't even remember. <laughs> there's a horrible scream and the smell of burning flesh. I decline. <laughs> uh, Ke Kevan's, not Kevin, Kevan's sword falls to the ground besides his gauntlet. He won't be needing either anymore. <laughs> Damn. After the tournament, a minor tragedy is revealed. One of the stewards apparently had an incredible sweet tooth and dared to steal a piece of your recently received chocolates. He had a sweet tooth. The chocolates were poisoned. Well, of course they were. It killed me in another life. <laughs> good thing I didn't eat them! <laughs> that's, that's a very good thing. Um... I'm more willful now. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm cheerful. I feel like my next big test is gonna be military, though, so I want to be as prepared as possible. So I need to, I need to get depressed. Yeah, I need to get depressed. Um, depressed and not afraid. What can I do? That's that. Hmm. I remember I encountered uh, these problems last time. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, there's also plus two, pluses to other things, okay. There's minus a cheerful. I don't know what mood that would put me in though. Let's just do minus cheerful. You tend services at the castle grove, letting the peace of the ritual wash over you. Oh good, I am mad. I don't know, I still don't understand how that works, because like, my mood is completely even with these three, but my mood is angry so I don't know <laughs> um so looks like uh, sword and logistics uh, where's classes sword and logistics Some something else is gonna kill me something <laughs> All right, uh, you learn about how to calculate enemy war preparations and stuff. You study the benefits of looting as a uh, <clears throat> as a troop motivator versus the negative effect on civilian populations. You learn how to calculate an effective military strength wanes over the things and stuff. You practice moving with the blades, sidestepping, charging, and lunging. My lady, your father wishes to speak with you. He says it's urgent. Fine, God, Dad. You find your father standing over a map of the coastline, his face grave. Ships have been <laughs> I knew it. Ships have been sighted on approach from uh, Shanja. Not trade ships. This is a war fleet. What? Within a week, they will be uh, in Novan waters. Within two, they will reach the capital. Then we will fight to defend ourselves. You can try to use the treasury funds to hire additional soldiers, but it may be difficult on short notice. Uh, definitely. Need everything we can get. Fine, we'll do that. What about Talassi? You can, uh, can we call on any troops from, uh, Sedna? 
Send a message, but even if he agrees, it will take time for his soldiers to mobilize. You will need to drop a naval strategy for our ships to carry out. You could choose to act as admiral and lead the fleet in person, but the danger to you would be very great. Unless you think your personal skills will make the difference, I would strongly advise against it. Oh! I gotta save. <laughs> Turn. I'm going to direct the fleet myself. The risk is mine to take. You have your mother's heart. There is one more thing I hesitate to ask, but an invasion. This is the sort of disaster for which a lumen's power may be worth the cost. If the fleet could be destroyed before they reach our waters, many lives could be saved. I don't know any magic that could sink a whole fleet. I, I don't? I'll have to ask my mentor. You find the Duchess of Ursul in her guest quarters. A fleet from Shangia is attacking us. Is it possible to sink them all with magic? It is easy enough to attack one soldier, one ship, as a demonstration, but to obliterate an entire fleet... Uh, you would need an immense amount of power spread over a large area more than any one lumen could control. If you tried to raise that much power yourself, you would die. Not could, would. So it's hopeless. We'll just have to rely on our soldiers. Ah, uh, what? Am I not a good enough lumen? Damn. Damn. Well, I definitely need this affected by cruelty huh no I'm cheerful no I guess I damn it yep the cheerfuls up there okay uh, my skills because military is negatively affected by that but it's still affected enough for me to max out naval in this regard my weapons is down though. Ugh. Um, so what else can I do that's worthwhile? Um, I guess I will do uh wield magic. Oh yeah, let me put on my naval outfit actually. Where's my not naval outfit? Uh uniform, military bonus. <laughs> I'm such a happy general. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, okay, skills. Um, that's... Hmm. Hmm. I'll just reload if I if I have to, because I definitely know I'm going to need Lumen to pull this stuff off, so... Uh, I'm going to do Sense Magic and Wield Magic. Oh, no, uh, classes. Uh... Bleh, 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 lumen. Sense. Lumen. Wield. Done. Uh, you learn to detect uh, ongoing enchantments such as blessed weapons that can do magical damage. You learn to tell the difference between different kinds of magical structures so that you can tell roughly what a spell you detect is meant to achieve. By concentrating, you can create a wave of discontent which panics, confuses, and enrages other people around. Uh, you learn to shape light into images... <coughs> And things that are far away, and things uh, that don't exist at all. What? Oh, here's the sea battle. Danger on the high seas. Ships close on each other, angling into range. Climbing? Oh, yeah, I'm on the... God damn it. You take your position with a spyglass, watching the enemy movements closely, and shouting out <laughs> as any necessary changes the plan. Uh, the... Shangians uh, have half again as many troops as you do. It doesn't look promising. Yay, wield magic! <laughs> Your skill at long-range magic makes you as effective as a cannon and more maneuverable, but there are far too many ships for you to take each one out individually. The eventual outcome, not in your favor. What? 
The Novan ships are sunk and scattered as the uh, Shinjian forces press towards landfall. Strategy and naval strategy success. You grasp uh, your grasp of strategy allows you to recognize when <coughs> when the tipping point has been passed, and you order your remaining vessels to retreat before they are all destroyed. Uh, this saves lives, but it means leaving the Novan approach completely unguarded. Many good soldiers were lost today, and uh, Nova's <coughs> troubles have not ended. Really? I was so good at the military, though. <laughs> so it didn't even matter. Hmm. Since you have failed to repel the invasion, the Shinjian fleet will soon land, and, uh, and their troops will begin progressing towards your capital. Your remaining soldiers will hold them off as long as possible, of course, but the main strength of your military has been exhausted. Uh, Nova's future looks bleak. No. <laughs> all right, so that didn't help me at all. Man. <laughs> Um, hmm, that sucks. Oh, what's Puppy doing? Looking out the window. Uh, sorry. <laughs> so, I'm going to do, uh, resist and wield magic. Uh, because I feel like I'll need it, I think. I'm going to save again. <laughs> Me too. Me. And return. So, glasses. Anyway, uh, sorry my dog was getting mad at people outside. Uh... What was I doing? Resist and wield? <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you learn to maintain low-level deflection fields and stuff. You learn how to directly counter offensive magic with your own power so that you can burn out a spell that someone else has cast. This is very, this is very dangerous if the other spell is too powerful. You learn to create a powerful explosion of light, burning those caught within. Uh, and Oh yeah, maxed it out, yeah! You learn how to make use of images uh, to wield your other powers at a great distance. You have nothing more to learn in that skill. Alright. The evasion of Nova is proceeding. Your coastline is under Shinjian control. Uh, soldiers have marched through villages, trampling fields and frightening citizens. A diplomatic delegation from Shinjia is, uh, bleh, 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 has requested access to the castle to discuss terms, more likely for your surrender. You lack the strength to hold off their armies, and surrendering now will save many lives. It would seem you have no choice. What? Almost no choice. Your fiancé, Duke uh, Talarist of Sedna, has sent you a message. He does not personally command enough soldiers to turn the tide against this invasion but his king in Talassi is eager to discuss a formal alliance. If you flee the capital now, you should be able to evade the army and reach the uh, Talassian border. Oh, I'm going to meet the diplomats. You prepare yourself as best you can to meet with the representatives from Shinjia. <coughs> Uh, you expected diplomats and military representatives, a general and a the or an admiral. <laughs> you did not expect the handsome man decked in jewels who stands before you, a man announced by his servants as uh, Tagami, king of Shinji. Uh, I know nothing. <laughs> Is he really their king? Why would the king come all the way here? Since magic, no. I'm guessing he's a lumen then. My dear young lady, how difficult this must be for you. So, <laughs> that voice is hard. 
So much responsibility at such a tender age. My composure failed. My court manners are bleh, manners are good. Stop freaking out, puppy. You're fine. Uh, you yearn to slap the false sympathy off his oily face. <laughs> <laughs> but you force yourself to remain calm. War benefits no one, don't you think? Such a terrible waste. Better to settle things in a civilized manner. A contest, a game, so to speak, with Nova as the stakes. Should I win, then your domain will submit and accept me as overlord with no further resistance. Should I lose, then my army will leave your domain in peace and shed no more blood. What sort of game? It is well known that Nova is ruled by lumens. As it happens, I too possess the powers of a lumen. I propose a formal duel, my powers against yours. The winner takes control of Nova, the loser dies. Your game by your rules for my life. That doesn't sound fair to me. The rules of, of formal dueling have been passed down for centuries and must be upheld. It is important that we do this by the ancient codes. Why should I? If you refuse, then the war will continue. I'll sweeten the deal. If you... <coughs> If you meet me in a formal Lumen Challenge, I'll call off the invasion even if I win. Really? <laughs> I swear by the gods, Nova will be free and safe. Why take that risk? You're winning the war. Uh, it's not your land that I want, it's your crystal. To gain your power, I am willing to wager my own. Shall we begin? God damn it. I don't like this. What choice do I have? Oh god, I don't know anything. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna accept. Then I must. Oh god, I'm gonna die again. <laughs> Tagami explains the rules of, a for of formal dueling to you, including. Oh no, I'm wearing the military uniform. Son of a. Ugh. <sighs> including a carefully inscribed circle of wards that would contain the effects of any powers you wield, uh, protecting bystanders from danger. And then it's time to begin. Resist magic. Success. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you trade... Oh god, the screen. You, <laughs> you trade attacks. One spell sensed and countered by another. Reverse the... Uh, reserving your strength as much as possible. It might almost be exciting if your life weren't on the line. Sense magic success, finally! <laughs> you need to end this quickly before his experience allows him to come up with a trick you can't defeat. Uh, he's used to dealing with magical attacks, but he might not, not expect a physical one. Perhaps if you rushed him, it would take him off guard. Up close, he uh, couldn't use his fancy spells. But what could you do? You, uh, you still have to use magic to win. You can't just grab him and bang his head against the floor. Wield magic success. Perhaps you could focus your power into the shape of a sword. Yes! <laughs> oh, it, it's going to fail, though. I'm, I'm not even at 50 in sword. Or maybe you could dis uh, distract him somehow. Uh, uh, magic sword. Uh, Mots of shimmering moonlight coalesce into a weapon in your hand. Reflexes and sword failed. God damn it. You lunge, but he ducks under your blade and rolls away. Before you can uh, regain your target, he summons up a shield of red fire that surrounds him completely. Now it ends. The fire sweeps uh, forward, devouring your vision. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm dead again. <laughs> okay. Well, since that was pretty quick, I'm gonna definitely be uh, re specking 
and uh, and trying this again. I uh, because I guess naval really doesn't help or logistics didn't help at all in that. Uh, naval strategy and regular strategy just helped me lose or lose less soldiers, but then they still made it to the capital anyway, so it's the same as if I had failed. Um, so I guess I will try to be better at swords and reflexes then. So, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you all enjoyed. Remember to praise the sun. And I will see you all next time.